Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I have a huge Zara haul to share with you. So as you saw in the thumbnail, I've got a one big box which coincidentally has the least amount of stuff in it and two small boxes packed full of stuff. So I'm going to jump right in. I've got so much, I mean seriously guys, so much stuff in here. I'm going to start with this big huge box because like I say it has the least amount of stuff in it. So we can just get this one right out of the way. Um, this one has... So I ordered some kids perfumes. Um, I saw these and they're number one, they're so darn cute. Number two, the notes actually sounded really nice. So um, this first one that I picked up is called Glitter Rainbow and the packaging is so cute. It's got little unicorns all over it and their tails are rainbows. <laughs> so cute. So, yeah, I heard um, glass, like, tinkling around in one of these boxes, and thankfully I didn't see anything wet, so I knew just the bottle had broken some. Um, the bottoms of both of these bottles of one of these, like, broke, but thankfully no liquid came out, so I was very excited about that. So, Glitter Rainbow, this says Zara Scent Library. Um, let me see... I'll put the notes on the screen for you guys because I don't have anything in front of me. Um, and I'm, okay, so let me tell you, this just came in the mail a few hours ago and I was so good. I went through and cut open all the packaging so I could easily get them out, but these are all going to be first impressions. I have not smelled any of these. So yeah, um, because they're all first impressions, I am, I will put the notes on the screen for you. So yeah, Glitter Rainbow, I remember was like vanilla and chocolate or something, if I remember correctly. Whoa. Oh, it smells like, um, I don't know. It kind of smells like a little kid. It smells like candy. It's a little bit sweet, but it's not like, and I also think that all the kids ones are like eau de cologne concentrations. They're not, um, they're not super strong, obviously, because they're meant for children. Super cute. That's really cute. But yeah, there's not a lot of um, fragrance to it, honestly, because, like I say, meant for kids. I do remember this one had, like, chocolate in it. Maybe something else. I need to test that on my um, skin because you never can tell with... Um, You never can tell with, um, on paper. Sometimes you can, but something this uh, lightly concentrated, no. So that was the first one. That was Glitter Rainbow. The next two, these are also children's. These are in the Eau de Toilette concentration, and this is the one that there was um, glass. Yeah, that there was glass kind of knocking around in here, and... Um, yeah, they're intact. They're intact, but there is glass all in the bottom of this box, so I'm like a little bit nervous. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna be careful, because there are like little glass shards Oof, on the bottles. Gosh, I feel like I'm gonna get a glass sliver right now. Okay. Well, we're going to go for it. Um, I'll clean these off when we're done here. So the first one is called Cherry. And let's see here. It's just a, like a really fruity, like very fruity, nondescript. That's cute. It smells more like, um, it smells like something. I can't put my finger on it and it's actually getting stronger on the paper rather than weaker like the, old, the other one. 
But yeah, it's just a cute little fruity fragrance. I got these more just because of the concept of them. They're so cute. They're like kids perfumes. And I just thought they were so cute. This one is called Sugar Rose. Oh, I'm scared I'm gonna get a glass sliver. Yeah, I've got, oh gosh, this one smells so good. Mm, it's like alcohol blast at first. Let me show you these bottles. They're really, really cute. But yeah, they broke. The bottoms broke. But this is the cherry bottle. So cherry. And then this is the sugar rose. Super cute little bottles. Ugh, that sugar rose smells so good. Oh man. Yeah, I'll put the notes on the screen. It's fruity, it's sweet. This one smells like it's maybe got a little bit of vanilla in it. I really like that one. So that is the sugar rose. And then last but not least, I got this orchid fragrance. Now, I could have sworn that I had this before, but this says limited edition and it's notes of bergamot, orchid, and vanilla. Um, and I have not had this one. I did have something similar. Um, I had something like it, but it wasn't this one. So I'm not sure what this is. Wait, no, maybe this is the same that I had. I don't know, this is the problem too with Zara. I'll do this a lot because they change the packaging all the time. I will think that something is new or that I haven't had it before and then I'll rebuy it and I've totally had it before. This smells nice, this is super fruity. I said it was, uh, yeah, bergamot, orchid, and vanilla. It's a little bit fruity, it's floral. I don't get a lot of vanilla, but there might be a touch of it. It's mostly just kind of a generic fruity floral fragrance. It's not bad though. It's kind of nice. So that is Zara Orchid. Sorry, let me give you a look at this bottle. I like the color of the lid. It's pretty. Okay, so that's it for that first big box. Now. Now we've got the fun stuff. We've got two small boxes packed full of stuff. And let's see what is in this first one. Okay. So I had a ton of people asking me to pick up these new fragrances. And it's funny because there was basically like one from every single so they have these little discovery sets and these are like rollerball sets. They are uh, 10 mil rollerballs and there's three in each one of these. And these were like $14 or $15, something like that. And then the full bottles of these were 20, I think the full bottles were $20 a piece. And I was like, well, I better not buy full bottles because I don't know if I'm gonna like them. And I'll buy these little discovery kits and then I will, uh, buy full bottles if there are any that I'm in love with and of course I couldn't buy just one or two discovery kits because I literally wanted a fragrance from like every single one of them the ones that I wanted were in like three different kits so I bought all of them so um, let's well let's start with this guy first so this is woman gold and I've been wanting this one for a while this is notes of jasmine gardenia and honey I went ahead, I almost bought this in a, like a full bottle of it, but I thought, you know what, I'm, there's a chance I'm not going to like that one, so um, I just got it in a roller ball, so let's, I just sprayed a couple of the Ellis Brooklyn fragrances on me to test a little bit, thinking that they were going to be kind of like wispy fragrances and not hang around, and they're hanging around, so it's like hard for me to smell anything else right now. But anyways, um, let's smell this. 
So woman gold is jasmine, gardenia, and honey. Or what is it that I'm smelling that is so strong? Oh, this is so nice. Ugh. That's really nice. Like it warms. It starts to really warm on your skin. I'm really just kind of getting like a little generic floral, but it's kind of nice. Like I'm digging that one. Oh, it's pretty. So that is the woman gold and they have woman rose gold too, but woman ro rose gold is exactly the same. Like exactly the same notes, not a different fragrance. Okay. Let's bust into this discovery kit. This is the boost my feelings, surround yourself with energy. Um, Zara boost my feelings set. This comes with vibrant spirit, wild boost, and delighted chaos. So these are new fragrances that came out. Zara just released these. Um, so we'll start with delighted chaos, which is delighted chaos is champagne accord, freesia, and sandalwood. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. This reminds me of something from like Victoria's Secret though. Like it's not, it's definitely not groundbreaking, but it smells just good. Like yummy. Ugh. That champagne accord in it is really like fizzy smelling and sweet. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try these on my skin. I am into that one, Delighted Chaos. That one smells awesome. Um, and then the next one we have is uh, Wild Boost, which is melon, raspberry, and vanilla. It's crazy. I have something on my arm that I sprayed one of the Ellis Brooklyn's. It's like all I can smell. Oh, this is nice too. Mm, it's fruity. I mean, melon, raspberry, and vanilla. It's just like, it's super fruity. Nothing special. You really get a beautiful raspberry note though. And a really nice melon note and it's not overpowering. Sometimes melon can really overpower fragrance. It's really, really mellow in this though. You mostly just get that raspberry, tart, juicy raspberry. That's a nice little fruity fragrance. I mean, if you're into fruity fragrances, you really like it. Uh, this one is called Vibrant Spirits and this is Mandarin, Ylang Ylang, and Ambrox. Um, going to be hard to smell these roller balls. Ooh, except they come out like super easy onto paper. Okay. That's really pretty. Mandarin, Ylang Ylang, and Ambrox. Ugh really beautiful. They start changing like right away. It's like at first I could smell the Ambrox and then the Mandarin really came out. And now I'm starting to get the floral Ylang Ylang. It's really nice for being such a simple fragrance. So that is Vibrant Spirit. I mean any of them, they're like that berry, that raspberry and melon and vanilla one is really pretty. These, gosh, that's really nice. Mandarin, Ylang Ylang, and Ambrox. Vibrant spirit. Super unisex. Almost beachy smelling. Really, really pretty. These are like super easy breezy um, summer fragrances. So that is the discovery kit for Boost My Feelings. Vibrant Spirit, Wild Boost, and Delighted Chaos. 
Okay, next I picked up this one called Lightly Bloom. It says I'm delicious and tender. Um, not sure what the, this is from the Nude Collection. Not sure what the notes on this guy are, but um, I loved the bottle. <laughs> not sad, I picked it up because I loved the bottle. This mint green color. Ooh, very, very soft. Very soft, very, um, it's kind of a watery, a very soft, watery floral with almost a slight greenness. Yeah, very slight green quality, but really just a very soft, light floral. This is one that I could probably use half a bottle in a day because I would overspray like crazy just to smell it and I'd probably have to reapply it like, you know, five or six times. And I'd probably use up half a bottle in a day, which is fine. I mean, it was like $10, so it's no big deal, but really pretty, nice, light, soft, watery, kind of green floral. So that is Lightly Bloom. Okay, and then these next ones, this is another two pack. Whoops, okay. This is another two pack and this is Black and Rose. And I'm excited about these ones because I don't think I've ever smelled these before. So, We'll talk about Rose first, and I loved these bottles. I just thought they were so pretty. So Rose is Black Currant, Peony, and Rose. So imagine that. Zara named a rose fragrance that actually has rose in it. So again, Black Currant, Peony, and Rose. I already love it. <laughs> I already love it. It's like a, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's a clean, it's super clean um, and not in a shampoo-y way because there's really no sweetness, but, oh my gosh, the peony and the rose, so beautiful. I get really almost no black currant. So yeah, just a super clean, easy, light floral. And then black is apple, orange flower, and vanilla. Another three notes that I thought would be beautiful. Okay, so apple, orange flower, and vanilla. So the orange flower and the vanilla is like making a really beautiful combination. And this, it's almost giving like a creamsicle type of vibe, but it's like not that sweet and I don't know this is a really really good one I really like this one so that is black really pretty okay and then we're gonna bust into the last box here and this one is a lot fuller than the last one I do know that okay yeah we've got a bunch of stuff in here Okay, right on top we've got apple juice, and this is uh, apple, peony, and violet. I've been wanting this fragrance for a long time. I don't know why I never picked it up, um, because I knew it wasn't going to last at all, and like, I don't know. But it's pretty. It doesn't smell anything like apple juice. What did I say it is? Apple, peony, and violet. So apple, peony, and violet. You do get like a crisp kind of apple note, but there's not like a lot of sweetness. It's mostly the peony and the violet. So it ends up just being like a really crisp, another light, watery floral fragrance. This one is very clean and it is a little bit shampoo-y or kind of a lot shampoo-y really. 
I like that. I really like that one. So that is apple juice. That'll be a good one to spray on when you get out of the shower. Okay, we've got uh, Discovery Set number two. So this is the one that has Surfing Feelings, which is one of the ones I wanted a full bottle of. Nomadic Kiss and Cheerful Attitude, which I wanted that one too. I wanted Surfing Feelings and Cheerful Attitude. Um, I was almost going to buy full bottles of all these. I'm glad I didn't. So Surfing Feelings is... Uh, watermelon, watermelon, lotus flower, and amber. Ooh, this has a pretty prominent watermelon note. So watermelon, lotus flower, and amber. That is gorgeous. Okay, so... That lotus flower is, again, another one of those kind of light, kind of green-leaning smelling florals. It's almost got an astringent quality to it, so that paired with the watermelon. And there's no sweetness in the watermelon. It's just like this beautiful, juicy watermelon note. This smells super fresh, super crisp. This is gorgeous, and I'm not a big fan of melon notes in fragrance, but this is stunning, like really, really nice. Ooh, I love this. I can't wait to give this a good wear test, especially in the heat. Sometimes melon goes funny on my skin though, so it might smell amazing on the paper, and then this might do really weird on my skin. We'll just have to see, but I really like it on the paper, and then as it's kind of drying down on the paper, the melon, the watermelon note is really going away. And you're really just kind of getting that slightly green, astringent lotus note. It's very pretty. I don't smell any amber at all, but I might on my skin when it dries down. Ooh, I like that one. So that is cheerful, sorry, surfing feelings. Next, we have got Nomadic Kiss. This is one that I was not interested in, and you just watch because I wasn't interested in it. It's gonna be the one of the ones that I end up liking the most. Just watch, that's just how it always ends up. One of the ones that I wasn't even gonna buy, and it'll end up being one that I love, watch. It's good. Okay, Nomadic Kiss, Bergamot, Orange Flower, and Musk. So you get a really clean musk, a little bit of an orange blossom or kind of neroli. Yeah, it's like an orange blossom, but like an astringent orange blossom, almost like a neroli fragrance. So clean musk, neroli, and like a clean citrusy bergamot. Super clean, fresh, crisp. It's like an orange blossom fragrance, really. That's what I smell most, like an orange blossom neroli type fragrance, but a soft one. There's no bite to it. It doesn't lean masculine. It's really beautiful and clean. I like that. Would I buy a full bottle? Probably not, but I do like it. Okay, and then last but not least, in this set, we've got Cheerful Attitude. And this one is one of the ones that I wanted to buy a full bottle of, or that I almost bought a full bottle of because this has a cotton candy note in it, and I'm hopeless when it comes to stuff like that, cotton candy, vanilla. Okay, Red Fruits, Vanilla, and Cotton Candy Accord. And surprise, surprise, I love this. It smells so good. It smells like cotton candy. Ugh, it smells like tart red fruits. Tart red fruits and sweet cotton candy. It's not groundbreaking at all. It is, you know, pretty generic smelling. 
but I love it. If you love a cotton candy, if you love sweet gourmand fragrances, you would probably love this. This is gonna make you feel like it's the middle of summer and you're about to go to a fair. Oh, it smells so good. So that last one was called Cheerful Attitude. Okay, next I picked up a, I've been wanting to try one of these body lotions. This is the Water Lily Tea Dress from the Zara Emotions line. Um, and yeah, this is... I just really wanted to try one of the body lotions. I'm going to try the body lotion and I'm going to try layering the fragrance over the body lotion. We'll see how that goes. Oh, I love Water Lily Tea Dress. It's such a beautiful, watery, again, kind of green, kind of astringent, but just watery floral. So good. So that is the Water Lily Tea Dress body lotion. Okay, next I picked up another roller ball and this is in Cotton Kiss. This is Notes of Pear, Ambrette, and Iris. The one thing I love about Zara's roller balls is it lets a lot of fragrance out, like a lot of perfume gets out, or liquid I should say, which makes it really easy to put a lot on because you usually need a lot with Zara fragrances. So Cotton Kiss, Pear, Ambrette, and Iris. Pear, Ambrette, and Iris. And with the Ambrette and the Iris, it just ends up smelling like, you know, like Glossier U or something like that, or Kaleidoscope from Bath and Body Works, or just like a powdery, pretty straightforward Iris fragrance. And there's just a hint of sweetness from the pear. It's really pretty. Would I buy a full bottle of it? No. I'm glad I bought the roller ball and didn't buy a full bottle. Not that I don't like it, but I have, you know, five other fragrances in my collection like this. Really, really beautiful. Probably does not last long, so you could probably find something elsewhere that does last a little bit better, but I have a full body of the Kaleidoscope body lotion from Bath & Body Works, so this will be great to layer. Next, I got some little discovery kits, and I picked these up because, again, I was eyeing some full bottles, and I thought, let me just get a little discovery kit. They actually offer one, and I'm going to. And what is so cool about these, you guys, okay, first of all, this is the Paris Stories one. So this has Bois de Vincennes Park Floral, uh, Place Dauphine and Montsoris or Mont Montsori, whatever it would be. Um, these are cool because they came with tester strips. So how awesome is that? They are including little tester strips in these. I just thought that was awesome. So, um, and they're nice tester strips, a lot nicer than my cut paper. Okay, so the first one we're going to try out is called Bois de Vincennes. Mm. Okay, this is Iris again. Super irisy. These are definitely a step above anything else that I've been smelling today. These are on another level. Um, violet leaves, mandarin, and leather. Violet leaves, mandarin, and leather. The leather gives, it's a nice leather. Like, it's a really nice leather. I don't love leather, so this is not my favorite, but it's a very nice quality leather note. Iris and leather, basically. It's like a powdery iris and a very good quality leather. It's nice. It's not my cup of tea because I'm not into leather, but um, I do really, I can really appreciate that for what it is. Okay, next we have Park Floral. This is one that I was going to buy a full bottle of. I almost did.
I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> okay, so park floral is another more iris. Um, iris, musk, and dry amber. Iris, musk, dry amber, and mineral tonalities. It's okay. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong. Again, this is a step above anything else I've been smelling. Like, you can smell the quality here is better. It is, I imagine these will be longer lasting. The quality here is just better. But just, again, not my cup of tea. It's an iris. Iris musk, amber, and minerals. It's beautiful. It's not bad at all. It's super unisex, too. Like, yeah. Um, nice. Very nice. These are very different for Zara. Okay. Next, we have Place Dauphine. This is very masculine right out of the gate. Very masculine smelling. It smells like a cologne. Ooh, it's nice though. Ambergris, ginger, and mandarin. So salty ambergris, bright ginger, and mandarin. Very, very masculine, but very beautiful. That's a nice one. So that is Place Dauphine. And then last but not least, we've got the Montsouris. Okay, this is my favorite. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. This is... Oh my gosh. I'm gonna just read you the whole little paragraph here. A delight memory from Paris. The French must see macaron from pastry shop in the sixth district. My peche mignon, mignon. Deliciously filled with praline and flooded with lavender. Odeon, recall, Odeon recalls a vintage feel enhanced with moss tonalities. So lavender, praline, and moss. Oh, I love this, you guys. This is strong. This is like, I'm going to have to do a full wear test with this one because this is very pungent and beautiful. This smells like a high-end fragrance. It's beautiful. Mm, so that is Montsouris. Wow. It's got a bite to it, almost like a ginger bite, but there's no ginger in that one, which is crazy. So that is the Paris Stories. Next, we have the Weekend Collection. I picked this up because somebody recently asked me if I had smelled tuberose yet, and also somebody asked me about Pink Flambe, which I picked up a rollerball of Pink Flambe probably three or so years ago, so I don't remember what it smells like. But again, with the cute little touch, look at that. They give you like a whole stack of them in this too. Like they gave me way more than I need. Oh, I love that. But they taped them, so it's going to rip. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can get these out. Well, okay, these are so cute, these little tester strips. Okay, so we've got Femme here, which I adore Femme. I'm just going to spray this just to see if it's the same Femme that I have. 
It is, oh my gosh, I love them. It smells so freaking good. It's such a good fragrance from Zara. Somebody said that it's supposed to be duping Prada Femme. And I kind of see that. Gosh, it's strong in this little thing. It's a lot stronger than my bottle. Mmm. Gosh, that's so good. I love Femme. It smells a little bit like Poison Girl to me. I don't know. Okay, let's smell tuberose. This is the one, this is one of the ones that I bought this for. Um, I really want to, ooh, oh my gosh, that's so nice. That is, um, oh gosh, it's fruity. Ooh, I love this. It's like, uh, it's fruity and sweet. But it almost has a tea-like aspect to it. I almost get like a raspberry tea vibe from it. Like a sweet raspberry tea. Oh, that's super nice. I like that tuberose. I've never smelled Twilight Mauve, so I'm excited to smell this one. That's nice. That's really nice. That smells like it's got a melon note in it. It smells very similar to, it smells very similar to something else I've got in there. It's got like a melon. It's nice, that's not my favorite. I wouldn't buy a bottle of it. Um, and then last but not least, let's smell pink flambe. Oh yes, it smells so good, but it does. It smells exactly like my rollerball smelled and that rollerball lasted all of five minutes on me. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It's yummy and gourmand. Ugh. That's so good. It smells almost like it's got cinnamon or something in it. There's like a hair or like a touch of something spiced. like spiced stewed peaches or something. Ah, so good. Okay, so that was the little weekend collection kit. I'm digging that tuberose. I will probably pick up a bottle of that, maybe in my next Zara haul. Okay, and then last but not least, we've got another little discovery set. This is the new uh, line, the Boost My Feelings line. So this one is Mystery Balance, which is one of the ones I wanted, Cozy Serenade, which is another one that I wanted, and Holistic Flow. So um, let's start with Mystery Balance. And... Ooh, okay. Um, Mystery Balance is Ozonic Accord, Sandalwood, and Musk. So this is like light and airy and... Let me show you the little rollerball. Gosh, it's almost non-existent. <laughs> I almost can't smell anything. Let me try this on my hand because I almost can't smell anything on the paper, which means it needs skin to react with. Let's try out some of that alcohol. Mmm, it smells like clean skin, really. It's got a slight aquatic vibe, but it really just smells like clean skin. Super nice. Um, I really think that in three minutes I'm not going to smell this anymore. It smells nice, but I'll let you know at the end of the video if I can still smell it. Okay, next we have Cozy Serenade, which is Orchid, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. 
and this was the one that I was the most interested in. Um, I wanted this one so bad. Vanilla, orchid, and sandalwood. Ooh, gosh, it's so nice. So the vanilla is actually prominent in this for once. I found that in Zara fragrances, they have vanilla in a lot of them, but a lot of the times you can't smell the vanilla really. Ah, I love this. The vanilla is basically all I can smell in this one. Gosh, it's gorgeous. It's like a slightly sweet, slightly, very slightly woody vanilla. I don't really get orchid. I mean, but what does an orchid smell like, honestly? It's like one of those fantasy notes. That's nice. That's a, That really is like a cozy fragrance. It's like a cozy sweet vanilla. I like that one. So that was Cozy Serenade. And then last but not least, we're finally at the end here. We've got Holistic Flow. And this one, uh, I have a feeling I'm not going to love this. This has got passion fruit in it, and I don't love passion fruit in fragrance. So we have got passion fruit, orange blossom, and musk. I'm getting the passion fruit right away. Right away. Um, it's nice though. It's not overly, it's not like an overly pungent passion fruit. I'm definitely getting some of the cleanliness from the orange blossom as well as the musk. The passion fruit is there, but it's not like an overpowering passion fruit. Yeah, you definitely get that nice bite from the orange blossom. The cleanliness from the musk, this reminds me of something from my childhood. It's really, really pretty. Would I buy a full bottle of this? Probably not, but I'm glad I have the rollerball. It's really nice. So that is called Holistic Flow. Holy cow, guys. All right, that's going to be it for my huge Zara haul. I hope you all enjoyed this. If there is anything uh, in this video that you want me to do a full wear test on and add to my update video that I've got a pile over here collecting for an update video, if there's anything that you want me to give a good wear test to and put in that update video, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!